In this video, I'm going to do a quick explanation of German short rows and the DS or double stitch that you end up creating when you do German short rows. I've got a little piece of stockinette fabric here, and I've knit over to the place that I want to do my uh, DS. So usually the first direction in a German short row is to turn your work. So I'm going to turn my work to the wrong side. The way a DS is worked is whether you're on the right side or the wrong side, knit or purl, you want the working yarn in the front of your fabric toward you. So the yarn's in front, you slip the stitch on the left needle purlwise to the right needle, and then you take the working yarn and pull it up and over tight on the right needle. Since I'm going back, I want to keep this fabric in stockinette and I'm purling next. Now my yarn is in the wrong place because I'm pulling it over and it's on the knit side of the fabric. I need to bring that working yarn between the needles back to this front part of the work. And you can see I've got this funny little stitch over here. That's my double stitch. Some people like to put a marker on the needle to remind them that that's where they are. So I've brought my yarn to the front. I can purl over. And if this were where I want to do my next double stitch, I would stop and turn my work. And to do the double stitch again, the rule is that I have to have the yarn at the front of the work. So I bring my yarn back through to the front of my work. And with the yarn in front, I slip this next stitch on the left needle purlwise to the right. And I take the working yarn and pull it right up over the needle. Now you'll see that even though I've done the same thing I did on the purl side, it doesn't look the same on the knit side. The knit one tends to be a little bit kind of twisted up and wonkier looking. It's not as even as the purl side. So I've pulled it up, it's still correct, I've pulled it up and over nice and firm on that right needle and because I'm going to knit next, my yarn's already at the back of the work, I'm in the right position to knit so I can knit right from that position. I'm going to knit over and some people would have placed a marker here. I see, wow, that doesn't look right. That's a, that's a double stitch. I'm going to knit the two legs together. So I'll push that knot back a little bit so I can see both legs clearly. And I'm going to make sure I get both of them in there and knit them together like that so that you can see what it looks like when you're approaching the um, double stitch on the purl side. I've got two purls here, one and two. This last purl sometimes wants to snug itself up against the double stitch. I find it especially helpful to put a marker here before that double stitch. If you're not sure if that's the double stitch, sometimes taking a peek over the needle helps you see that it is, but they definitely looked a little different from the purl side and you're going to purl those two legs of the double stitch together when you get there so that they're worked together and from the front you can see that it turns into a little knit stitch there